guys and Natasha and today we are going to do some best questions of vector addition through formulas uh, and as I have told you in the previous video also and in the previous video we have just done analytical method of vector addition means in that video we have done vector addition uh, through formulas means I have uh, show you the formulas of uh, what will be the formula of to find the magnitude of result and what will be the, fo uh, what will be the formula of you know to find the direction of resultant I have told you that's all so, but in that video we are going to use that formulas okay so and as I have told you also that I am going to show you the trigonometric table and the here I have drawn it so it will uh, it will be useful in the questions got it it will be used got it so let me first of all read that one trigonometric table then we are going to do the question got it so let me do so sine cos tan and cot got it so sine and cos you can see that these both are used in magnitude and direction but tan is usually used in direction and we can see that tan is only used in direction but uh, you know it can be possible that it is also used in magnitude but uh, it, uh, it doesn't matter but in that one tan is used for direction and cot cot is not coming that one so we are, not, uh, we are not going to talk about that we are only going to talk about these three ones okay so what will be the if uh, you know yeah if sine theta is equal to 0 then what will uh, what it will be it will be 0 sine theta is equal to 0 degree then it will be 0 and if sine 30 degree sorry th uh, sine theta is equal to 30 degrees so it will be of half got it so these are the uh, values of that got it so there are 5 1 degrees 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree got it and these are the values and these ones are represented that in that one these are not defined okay so let me do the question now so let me read it then i'm going to explain it and then we will do it together so the question is saying that Two forces, each uh, two forces, each of magnitude ten newton at a point as shown. Find the resultant. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it is simply saying that there are two forces. Okay, and they both have magnitude of ten newton. So, and uh, you can see this is like uh, this is the figure, and in the and in the question it is saying that find the resultant. So, to find the resultant, what we have to do first of all, we will have to find the resultant and direction both. In that one question got it so the formula to find the uh, you know magnitude sorry uh, yeah yeah magnitude of resultant got it and so these are the options 10 root 3 30 degree with, uh, with horizontal 10 root 3 60 degree with horizontal 10 root 2 30 degree with horizontal 10 root 2 60 degree with horizontal so what uh, what was the formula uh, for finding magnitude of resultant r or we can write it as that one but I'm going to use R, that one. Got it? So it is that, yeah, it is that A square plus B square, A square plus B square plus 2AB, 2AB cos theta. This was the formula, remember? See, do you remember that? A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Got it? So, now let me draw uh, the figure properly so two forces first one is let me say a this is b got it so by parallelogram law we will complete it so first of all cut, uh, complete the parallelogram so this is it this is theta is of 60 degree and the resultant is given by the diagonal and diagonal will be draw uh, from the two intersection point of these two vectors from here got it from here so this is the resultant but we don't know the resultant we have to find the resultant so uh, this is resultant and so to find the direction we will use alpha okay alpha and you know to find the direction of resultant what we have to do alpha with respect to a and remember that if if I write vector B, then what it is? Then it is vector A. And if I only write A, not this, I am not drawing the symbol of you know vector. Then what it will be? This will be the length of that. Length of that. Got it? So 
yeah so in that one it is not vector so let me do so what is the value of a and it is of 10 newton both are of 10 newton got it so 10 square plus 10 square plus 2 plus 2 a b cos uh let me write on here okay so what is value of a so 2 into 10 into 10 cos and what is the theta 60 degree so 60 60 degree so now let's solve it so 10 square plus 10 square see what i have uh, what i have do uh it is at 10 square plus 10 square plus 2 into 10 into 10 then uh, 10 into 10 then cos 60 degree got it cos 60 degree remember so i'm uh, marking here 60 degree so it will be like that 10 square plus 10 square plus 2 into 10 into 10 and so now we are going to use this trigonometric table so it is that now it is we uh, what is the value of 60 degree in cos so 60 degree in cos is half so we will write not this we will write half now we can cut 2 from 2 so 10 10 this is it see i've cut it you can see got it so now 10 square plus 10 square plus now there are two 10 so we can uh, write 10 square so 10 square into 1 okay 1 so let me do now yeah so this is it so there are total 3 10 3 10 square see 3 1 will not be considered so it will be that 3 into 10 square. See 3 into 10 square. Got it? So now, now we are going to shift that one here. So we will put under root. Under root. So under root what? 3 into 10 square. What it will be? So our result it will be of. So our resultant will be of 10 root. 10 root 3. See, so our resultant is, means the magnitude of resultant is 10 root 3. So there are two options from 10 root 3. So we have to also find the direction. Then we will get our answer. Got it? So this is the magnitude of resultant. Now we have to find the direction. And for the, uh, for the direction, what, it, uh, what we will use? 10. So let me just draw a line. Yeah. So now it is at 10. 10 alpha is equal to what? B sine theta upon A plus B cos theta. See, this is it. 10 alpha is equal to B sine theta upon what? A plus B cos theta. So, let me solve it. So, what is the value of B? What is the value of B? 10. 10 sine theta upon what is the value of A? 10 plus 10 cos theta and so now what is the, uh, theta it is 10 sine 60 degree upon 10 plus 10 cos uh, cos theta so theta is 60 degree so yeah 60 degree but i will write here cos so it will be cos 60 degree got it and so now let me solve it. So it is at, let me write here. Okay, here. So it is at 10 sine 2. So, so, uh, sine 60 degrees. So 60 degree in sine. So what it, uh, what it is? Root 3 upon 2. No, let me write it here. It will be, you, uh, you can see clearly then. So it is at root 3 upon 2 root 3 upon 2 so it will be 10 into root 3 root 3 root 3 upon 2 root 3 upon what 2 see it is mentioned in cos 60 is of half so it will be 10 plus 10 then 
मल्टीप्लाय हाफ सी दिस इज इट दिस इज इट और नॉट टेन इंटू रूट थ्री अपॉन टू अपॉन टू देन देन निकॉस वन मीन्स दाम वन इट इज टेन प्लस टेन देन वॉट इन टू हाफ वॉट इट सो लेट मी कट इट इज टू फ्रॉम टेन देन हेयर इज फाइव वॉट इट सो देर विल बी फिफ्टीन देर विल बी फिफ्टीन सो टेन इंटू रूट थ्री अपॉन टू देन इन डाउन वन फिफ्टीन मैंशन सी फिफ्टीन मैंशन ओके लेट मी जस्ट या सो यू कैन सी टेन इंटू रूट थ्री अपॉन टू देन वॉट इट इज अपॉन फिफ्टीन गॉट इट एंड सो द कंटिन्यूएशन आई एम जस्ट ड्रॉइंग द एरो या सो इट इज दैट टू एंड सो टू इज ऑल्सो यू नो कट कट बाय सो टू विल बी नॉट मैंशन इट विल बिकम फाइव बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू दैट टू वॉज यू नो टू वॉज कट बाय टेन ओके सो इट विल बी फाइव रूट थ्री and here will become 5 so 5 uh, into root 3 upon 15 so we can cut 15 uh, 15 by 5 so it will be 1 and 3 3 so we can write it as you know root 3 upon root 3 upon sorry root 3 upon root 3 into root 3 see we can write it as yes or no of course yes of course yes so now we will cut 2 So there is left root three. See, there is only one root three left, and so this will be like one upon root three. One upon root three uh, means that alpha is equals to what? Thirty degree. So our answer is that, and we have also find the direction of resultant. So this is our magnitude of resultant. This is our direction of resultant. Got it? So. And now, so our answer will be what? Ten root three, thirty degree with horizontal. So that one, our answer will be that one. First one, got it? Don't you have any doubts? Okay, 